Hey guys, so about the selector tool, if you go to the bouncing setup next to a location that you select by ticking the checkbox, you will see uh, spinning loading UI with the moves. And then you will see this bar at the bottom, which allow you to set the location or the type of upsell. We have three types. One is called notification and it's by default. It looks like that. And you can change the colors, the text, the buttons, you know, stuff like that. You can add variants. And you can also change the animation of this same notification box like that, for example, or to slide like that from left to right you can use the good old-fashioned pop-up in different type of animation for example just a simple fade or you can insert inside the theme by clicking the select button and you know depending on your theme you will have different zones that you can select or you can manually manually go inside edit code and find the card.liquid or card-template.liquid and add a div to be able to have a new zone to be able to select this new zone. So you can tweak it manually, but by default you should be able to, you know, to see some zone. Let's click just here. You will see the upsells right there. If you don't like this location, you can just click, for example, anywhere like here. And then you can make the image bigger. You can display in, let's say you only have one product you will select one column and if you, if you have four products or two products you will select two columns or three columns and then you click save and you publish the upsell I won't save because this is a live store from a live client so I will just click back to admin and then I would see that I'm still using a notification and to save, I just scroll to the bottom and click this check mark. So that's it. Here's how to use the automatic setup with what we call the selector tool.